Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing On Point by Raquel Welch in three colors. Cinnabar, Shaded Cappuccino, and Gradient Charcoal. Before starting with the review, I do, many of you have asked me about my makeup, about my nails, my tops, You every, on every video I always get questions about any of these. I do want to let you know that if you go down to the description box, you click on the show more and you expand it, I list on there the nail polish that I'm wearing, the, some of the makeup that I'm wearing like my shadows or my lipstick. The top that I'm wearing, everything is listed there with links for you. So you don't have to go searching all over the internet. Uh, On Point is a beautiful angled bob. It is not so dramatic as we find in Taylor from Noriko or Mena from John Renault, where you have a very short back and then you have a very dramatic long front. We only have about an inch and a half of a difference on, on point, we have a front of 10 and a half and we have a back of eight. So you, you really don't have that dramatic um, difference in the measurements. The sides are 10 and a half. There is an angle, but it's not as much. Let me do a spin so you could see what I'm talking about. See how it, it goes nicely. It just, it flows right down. RL 511. You know, I, I don't understand why this is, but the card says RL 511 and it's sugar and charcoal right, right there on this corner. I think that you'll be able to, let me, Wait till the camera focuses. Okay, so you see it says RL511 and it has sugar and charcoal. But if you go onto any of the websites, it, it, it's, it's called sugar and charcoal. It doesn't really matter what they wanna call it because the number is RL511. And what that, that is an indication of a steel gray with subtle light gray and lighter highlights along the front. I personally love this gray. I think that one of the reasons why I get along so well with this gray is because this is how my hair is growing in. I think that once all of the dye is out of my hair, I think that because right now up to here, this is the color that it is. So once the dye is gone, it's going to be pretty much like this with the darker in the back if I decide to ever wear or ever go out without a wig. If you are a brunette and you have grays and you want to have a wig for those days that you don't want to do your hair or just because you want to wear a wig or for whatever reason, this is a perfect color for brunettes because this is what most of us go to from our dark brunettes when we start going gray, pretty much, this is very, very common, um, uh, a gray color. All right, uh, on, on point, we have a center part and we have a lace front. The center part is wide enough where you could move it over a little bit uh, to either side, but it, I, I don't wanna say that you could do a left part with it because you can't. And the lace front is absolutely gorgeous, as are all Raquel Welch. If you want to move it over a little bit, over to your left or over to your right, you probably will need to steam it or use some kind of product. Because as I was getting ready to uh, record this review, I tried to move it over, and I'll show you. I moved it over. And you see, I can move it over about an inch. The problem is that this is going to happen. So how would we take care of that? By either by steaming or by adding product. This is a heat friendly. So if you want to do it with a curling iron or you want to do it with a flat iron, as long as you don't go above 350, I'm always afraid of frying my wigs. So I keep my temperatures between 280 and 300. But 
um, you, it definitely needs it because otherwise you're going to get that. So in order to be able to review it, I just let it go where it wants to go so I don't have to be fussing with it. And I'm okay with the middle part, but I know some ladies aren't, don't like the middle part. That's why I wanted to point it out that you can move it over uh, slightly. The ear tabs are quite low. I think they have very good coverage. Here's my hairline and here is the ear tab. Same as over here. Now once my hair is all this color, then I'll be able to pull some hair out. I think it is a really, really pretty style. All right, let's take a look at the cap. And I'll put these other ones on so you can see what the what On Point looks like. I've had On Point, my first one, like I think I said at the beginning, my first one was Cinnabar. And I've had that one for a little over a year. And I just hadn't reviewed it. If you notice on, um, let me see, where is it? You notice the part is quite wide and you have nice ear tabs with the felt and nice stays in it. We also have the fibers coming out from the ear tabs. We have an extended nape, Velcro adjusters, the memory cap that is so incredibly comfortable. And I didn't point it out, but the lace front is all one piece with your center part. And here is On Point in Shaded Cappuccino. Shaded Cappuccino is a light golden brown blended with cool platinum blonde and it has a dark brown root. This color is very similar, very reminiscent of brown sugar sweet cream from Belle Tress, which you know that I love. And when I saw this one on clearance on the Wig Studio One uh, website, I had to get it. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Just a really, really pretty style. I wanted, I gave you the measurements on On Point and I didn't mention uh, my face length. I have almost eight inches from hairline to chin and I have almost five inches on my neck. So that way you can gauge pretty much of how it's going to fall on you. I find On Point to be very comfortable on my 21.75 circumference and I could just go all day with uh, On Point and not have any issues whatsoever. On Point has a little bit of permatease, but it's just basically around the crown, I believe, just to give it that little bit of an oomph in the back, but you really don't have any permatease here on the side. I call it a very realistic density. I think that if we look at density, from the high density to a low density, this is probably on the lower side of medium. As you can see, I can tuck it in the back and I don't have a problem. I don't think it's long enough to add a ponytail. I guess you can, but it would just be a very, very tiny ponytail. I think this style is really meant to be worn just the way it is, but You want, I think I saw somebody add bangs to theirs. Yeah, you, bangs can be added. It'll just require some steaming, a little bit of styling in order to get it to, to behave properly and not want to be the boss. Very pretty style. All right, let me go get my Cinnabar and I'll be right back. And here is On Point in Cinnabar. Cinnabar is a dark auburn, evenly blended with a medium light auburn. It is an absolutely gorgeous color. If you want to go to reds, it is a perfect color to go to. Or if you're going from reds to brunette, it's very evenly blended. We have no chunky highlights whatsoever here. Beautiful, beautiful color. This is, I think that after Deepest Ruby, this has got to be one of my favorite colors. All right, let's take a walk outside with Shaded Cappuccino, Sugar and Charcoal, and Cinnabar.
I want to thank you all for joining me today in this review of On Point in Three Colors, Cinnabar, Sugar Charcoal, and Shaded Cappuccino. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Let me know which one you like the best out of all three of them. All right, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.